Right now? Yeah. Right now. Woody Harrelson is an American actor and producer who impresses the audience with his charisma and eccentricity. Harrelson's whole life is strikingly contrasting. In childhood, the boy's bad behavior hit a creative, vulnerable soul. And in adulthood, the scandalous actions overshadow a charming man who can melt any heart. In the movies, the actor looks good in any role, both vicious bullies and true detectives. In this video, made at the request of our subscribers, we will tell you about the life of a talented actor and his fascinating fate. Woody Harrelson, How a True Detective, a Bully, and a Hollywood Villain Lives Woodrow Tracy Harrelson was born on July 23, 1961 in Midlands, Texas. Woody is the middle child in the family of Diane and Charles Harrelson. He has an older brother, Jordan, and a younger brother, Brett. When the boy turned three years old, his parents divorced, and his father disappeared from the children's lives, and their upbringing fell entirely on the shoulders of his mother, who worked as a secretary in a law office. The family was poor, but despite this, the religious mother was able to raise her children in love and set them on their feet. Meanwhile, the boy's father was a card sharper, was related to the mafia, and worked as a hitman for which he was convicted in 1968. Shortly after the trial, Diane took her sons to her hometown of Lebanon, Ohio to protect them from gossip and rumors. The future actor, born on the same day as his father, inherited his hard temper. Woody was a difficult teenager who had to change more than one school due to constant fights with peers. At the same time, Harrelson was very religious and devoted a lot of time to studying the Bible, and in his spare time, he worked at the King's Island Amusement Park to help his mother support the family. Charles had already served his time in prison at the time, but imprisonment taught him nothing and he resumed his activities committing the murder of federal judge John H. Wood Jr., for which he received two life sentences. Woody found out about this high-profile case from newspapers and radio and was shocked, because his mother never said anything bad about his father. At the trial, Charles also confessed to the attempted assassination of President John F. Kennedy, but there was no evidence of this and no criminal case was opened. At the same time, Woody never ceased to respect his father and often visited him, and as an adult, he even tried to have the case reviewed, but in vain. After an unsuccessful escape from prison in Atlanta, the inmate was transferred to a higher security prison in Colorado where he lived out his life. In 1979, the future actor graduated from high school, after which he entered Hanover College in Indiana, where he studied English and theology. That's where the guy stepped on the stage for the first time and realized that this is his element, after which he changed his major to acting and in 1983, he received a bachelor's degree in theater and English. Harrelson's student years were turbulent and intense. A lot of alcohol, women, protests and rallies, which eventually could not go without consequence. In 1982, Woody was arrested for dancing in the middle of a busy street while intoxicated. Then the rebel had to be rescued by his mother, who had always been patient and understanding with his son's antics. After college, Harrelson became actively involved in theatrical productions. In 1984, Woody rose to fame because of a stage version of the play Biloxi Blues, written by renowned playwright Neil Simon. Remarkably, Harrelson was connected with the playwright not only by the play, but also by Simon's daughter Nancy, whom the guy married in 1985. However, the young people got married for fun and wanted a divorce the next day, but because of the paperwork, their marriage officially lasted 10 months. In the same year, the young actor made his debut on television in season 4 of the series Cheers and starred in it until the 11th season, replacing Nicholas Colasanto, who died suddenly before filming another season. The role of Woody Boyd made him famous. The actor was nominated for an Emmy Award five times, but he managed to receive the award only in 1989. The project itself is considered to be one of the 50 best TV series of the world of all time. His beloved character, Woody Boyd, appeared in the cartoon Mickey's 60th Birthday 
as well as in the TV series Disneyland, The Simpsons, and Frasier. After his successful debut in Cheers, Harrelson starred in the films Wildcats, Bay Coven, Killer Instinct, and Cool Blue, as well as in the TV series Dear John. After becoming popular, the actor began to lead a wild lifestyle. He consumed a lot of alcohol and had a lot of one-night stands. Laura Louie, who worked as his personal assistant, helped him stay afloat. The girl turned off annoying journalists, brought the celebrity home after partying, brewed herbal teas for him, made sure that the actor did not miss rehearsals and important events. All in all, she was that important person who ensured that Harrelson's career was only going uphill. After several years of cooperation, the man caught himself thinking that he loved Laura and confessed this to her. In response, the girl didn't hide the fact that she herself had been in love with him for two years. Since then, young people began to live in a common-law marriage, but this did not reduce the number of female fans of the charming actor. In 1990, People magazine included Woody Harrelson in the list of the 50 most beautiful people in the world. In 1991, Woody appeared in the movie Doc Hollywood, and the next year, he played the main role in the sports comedy White Men Can't Jump with Wesley Snipes. They worked together so well that they were nominated for an MTV Movie Award for Best On-Screen Duo. Later, the actors starred together in the film Money Train for the role in which Harrelson received a fee of $5.5 million. In 1993, Woody played one of the main roles in the film Indecent Proposal, which had a budget of $38 million and grossed more than $266 million in theaters with a mixed reception from critics. Put it on. Put it on red. Okay. On the one hand, the film was awarded the MTV Movie Award for Best Kiss. On the other hand, Harrelson won the Golden Raspberry Anti Award for Worst Supporting Actor. Nevertheless, this fact has not affected the demand for the actor in any way, and he was offered exciting new roles. For example, in 1994, Woody starred in the drama I'll Do Anything, as well as in the action films The Cowboy Way and Natural Board Killers. Yes? Delivery for Ed Wilson. What on earth is it? It's beef lady, 50 pounds of beef. <laughs> The latter also starred Juliet Lewis, with whom, according to rumors, Woody actually had a relationship. For their successful collaboration, the actors were nominated for the MTV Movie Award for Best On-Screen Duo and for Best Kiss. After watching this film, deranged fans went out to kill people, and at least eight murders were committed under the influence of the film. The film company was sued, accused of inciting teenagers to crime, and even of involvement in murders. All of Hollywood were eagerly awaiting the results of the trial, but the charges were dropped. In 1996, Harrelson starred in the TV series Spin City and in the movie Kingpin, where he played a striking role of a professional bowler, although the filmmakers argue that in real life, Woody was not so good at it. You stroke a hell of a ball, but I'll bet when you're off, you leave a lot of buckets. Excuse me? Buckets, three, five, six, and nine. It's from coming in too light in the pocket and sending the head pin around the three. What he was really unbeatable at was his unusual actions. In 1996, Woody, being an avid marijuana smoker, staged a whole show in Kentucky, defiantly planting four cannabis seeds, thereby challenging state laws that ignored the differences between technical cannabis and marijuana. The actor did not have time to shake off the soil from his hands as he was immediately arrested. However, the next day, he was released and issued a symbolic fine of $200. In the same year, the actor appeared in the title role in the controversial biopic The People vs. Larry Flint, playing the publisher of the adult magazine Hustler. Yeah, I like that, bro. I mean, everybody thinks I'm a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> For this role, Woody received nominations for a Screen Actors Guild Award, Golden Globe, and Oscar for Best Actor. And the movie itself won the Golden Bear Prize at the Berlin Film Festival. Curiously enough, Larry Flint's screen brother Jimmy was played by Woody's real brother, Brett Harrelson. 
This was followed by roles in films The Sun Chaser, Welcome to Sarajevo, Wag the Dog, The High Low Country, Palmetto, The Thin Red Line, Play It to the Bone, and Ed TV, which also starred Matthew McConaughey. It's noteworthy that in real life, these actors are close friends. Brother, I got no trouble shaking a surfer's hand. <laughs> <laughs> in the early 2000s, the actor starred in the TV series Will and & Grace and in the movie Scorched. Moreover, the title of the film perfectly describes the events taking place in real life of the actor. In 2002, Woody was chilling in a pub in London where he met a couple of girls who offered the actor to spend the night with them. Harrelson accepted the invitation, which he later regretted very much, because one of his new friends turned out to be a reporter and wrote an article about this event. Then, the media discussed the main question, will the beloved of the actor, who at that time had already given birth to two daughters, forgive the infidelity? Laura has always been understanding of the antics of her life partner, so not only forgave the adultery, but a few years later gave birth to Hollywood star's third daughter. These London events formed the basis of the movie Lost in London, where Harrelson made his debut as a director and also acted as a producer and screenwriter. I'm an actor. Who oh, acts as Watson? I was. What have I seen you in? Um, the white man can't jump? Oh, from the 70s? 90s. Uh, indecent Proposal? Tia Jaka. Yeah, you saw it? No. The production of the movie came out quite revolutionary. It was filmed in one shot, and the shooting process was directly broadcast in cinemas. Although the movie appeared 15 years after the scandal, nevertheless, the actor tried to justify his behavior, albeit late. Since 2003, Woody's filmography has not been so actively replenished with prominent movies. The actor mostly starred in low-budget films or he got minor roles. During that period, he appeared in the films Anger Management, After the Sunset, She Hate Me, The Big White, The Prize, Winner of Defiance, Free Jimmy, A Scanner Darkly, A Prairie Home Companion, The Grand, as well as the drama North Country. What are you supposed to do when the ones with all the power are hurting those with none? The role of a hockey player in which was very difficult for Harrelson because he had never been on skates before. On the set of this movie, Woody managed to get into trouble by accidentally breaking Chris Menges' nose. In 2007, Harrelson starred in the crime drama The Walker, the action movie Battle in Seattle, and the Oscar-winning film No Country for Old Men. Don't worry, I'm not the man who's after you. I know that. I've seen him. You've seen him. Man, you're not dead. The following year, he appeared in the film Seven Pounds, where he played the role of a meat merchant. How's the pie? Oh, it's 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 good. You gonna ask her out? The well, waitress. <laughs> ah. Funnily enough, in the acclaimed movie Natural Born Killers, Woody's character had the same job. In 2008, the actor also appeared in the films Trans-Siberian, Sleepwalking, Semi-Pro, Surfer Dude, and Management. The actor's personal life also attracted public attention in 2008. Woody and Laura, after 20 years of living together, decided to legitimize their relationship and many were surprised by the fact that all these years, it was the reckless Harrelson who was ready to marry, but his beloved didn't want to. After the wedding, the actor's career began to gain momentum. In 2009, several significant movies appeared in Harrelson's filmography. For example, for his role in the film The Messenger, Woody was nominated for an Oscar, a Golden Globe, and other film awards for Best Supporting Actor. You bring her her husband's death and then you try to f*** her. And by the way, if she's into you, she's into some really weird twists. In the same year, the comedy horror film Zombieland was released. Who's Bill Murray? Hey, I've never hit a kid before. I mean, that's like asking who Gandhi is. Who's Gandhi? The shooting lasted only 42 days and could have ended earlier, but Harrelson was detained for 24 hours for marijuana possession. 
The scene from the movie where Woody's character wipes tears with money has become a popular meme. The actor was so invested in the role that once even got aggressive towards the paparazzi who followed him, explaining it by the fact that he took him for a zombie. The victim filed a lawsuit against Harrelson in the amount of $2.5 million for the attack and the damaged camera, but over time, the parties were able to come to a peace agreement. Woody also starred in the disaster film 2012. So beautiful, I'm gonna stay. The shooting of which cost $200 million, and the box office returns totaled $770 million. To promote the film, they even created a mock video blog in which Harrelson, as his character, talks about the impending disaster. Then the actor appeared in the films Defender, Bunraku, Friends with Benefits, and Rampart. In the latter, Woody Harrelson and Brie Larson play a father and daughter whose relationship is extremely strained. Funnily enough, they played exactly the same roles in the drama The Glass Castle in 2017. In 2012, Woody starred in the film Seven Psychopaths and in the television drama Game Change for his role in which he was nominated for an MTV Channel Award, a Golden Globe, and other awards. The actor also played the role of a drunkard mentor in the first part of the acclaimed Hunger Games series. Embrace the probability of your imminent death. I know in your heart that there's nothing I can do to save you. Preparation for this film was very serious for most of the actors. They were engaged in archery, rock climbing, yoga, and martial arts. Subsequently, Harrelson took part in other films of the franchise. The following year, an equally successful movie starring Woody was released, Now You See Me. For the record, I, I have always been a, a hundred percent believer in the amount of energy I have expended to keep these infidels on point. No. <laughs> With a budget of $75 million and box office returns exceeding $350 million. In order to plausibly play an illusionist in this film, Harrelson worked with a real professional mentalist for several weeks. A few years later, the actor appeared in the sequel of this film. In 2014, Woody starred in the TV series True Detective, the role in which became one of the most significant in his career. You ever see something like this? No, sure. Eight years CID. His co-star turned out to be Matthew McConaughey, with whom they created the perfect duo of detectives in the first season. For each episode of the series, Harrelson received $200,000, and in this project he acted not only as an actor, but also as an executive producer. For the role of Martin Hart, Woody was nominated for an Emmy, a Golden Globe, and a Screen Actors Guild Award for Outstanding Actor in a Drama Series. In subsequent years, Harrelson appeared in the following films, Triple Nine, The Duel, The Edge of Seventeen, LBJ, Wilson, War for the Planet of the Apes, and Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. A successful role in which showed that Woody's talent is limitless. I'm doing everything I can to track him down. I don't think those billboards is very fair. The Golden Globe Award named it the best film of the year, and Harrelson himself was nominated for Outstanding Actor in a Supporting Role for many film awards, including the Oscar. But Woody did not win. Unlike his colleagues on the set Francis McDormand and Sam Rockwell, the film with a budget of $15 million managed to collect $160 million in cinemas around the world. Then Woody starred in the films Shock and Awe, Venom, The Highwaymen, Midway, a spin-off of Star Wars about young Han Solo, as well as in the sequel to the horror movie Zombieland Double Tap. Well, I think I would have made a damn fine president, kissed a few hands, shook a few babies. You would have brought a real dignity to the office. Thank you. Funnily enough, the story about Elvis, which Woody's character tells in the hotel, is actually Harrelson's personal story of how he became an actor. And during the end credits, Elvis Presley's song Burning Love was performed by Woody Harrelson himself. In 2021, the actor pleased his fans with his roles in several films, the action movie Kate, the comedy series Curb Your Enthusiasm, and the sequel to the superhero movie Venom Let There Be Carnage, 
which was shot with a budget of $110 million, and the box office eventually exceeded $500 million. I have tasted blood before, my friend, and that is not it. Eddie Brock has a big secret. Shut up, Cassidy. In 2022, the actor appeared in The Man from Toronto and Triangle of Sadness. Recently, the premiere of the sports comedy Champions took place, where Harrelson played the main role. A miniseries starring the actor White House Plumbers is also expected to be released this year. At the moment, the actor is involved in the filming of the movie Project Artemis and is preparing for the filming of the series The Most Dangerous Man in America. In real life, Woody Harrelson has an active social position as an anarchist who does not support any political powers in the country. The artist promotes vegetarianism and calls to abandon the use of fur, leather, and other materials for which animals are killed. He ranked among the 20 most popular vegan celebrities. As an environmental activist, Harrelson repeatedly participated in festivals and protests, and to attract attention to the UN Children's Fund, he played football for the Rest of the World team and even scored the decisive goal at Old Trafford Stadium in Manchester. Moreover, the Hollywood star has been an advocate of legalizing marijuana for years and doesn't deny himself the pleasure of using it for recreation. Woody is also a gambler, having inherited this trait from his father and is easily able to spend a fortune on betting or poker. Perhaps his responsible wife keeps Woody from going on a rampage and despite his addiction, he is still a sought-after actor and his net worth is estimated at $70 million earned from the movies. At the same time, Harrelson would not refuse to star in commercials. He once appeared in a commercial for Miller Lite Beer. Today, the actor leads a quiet life and tries to spend more time with his family. Woody affectionately calls his daughters and wife, My Goddesses. Together with his family, Harrelson lives on the island of Maui in Hawaii, which is famous for its exotic wildlife. The population of the island is only 200 people, and they all take care of the environment and lead a healthy lifestyle. The actor bought this plot of land back in 1999 and eventually built a huge estate on it, which is currently estimated at $20 million. The property is striking in its contrast, a modern luxury building surrounded by untouched vegetation. The interior of the estate is very refined. It combines expensive furniture and the author's design style, and some rooms even feature antique motifs. The bathrooms are decorated with expensive marble and the master bedroom impresses with its aristocratic style. There is also an orchard and vegetable garden on the property where Woody takes pleasure in growing organic fruits and vegetables. There are other ways in which Woody takes care of the environment. For example, the actor's estate is equipped with solar panels, and the man himself travels around the island on a bicycle. Of course, he also has a Volkswagen Beetle car, but it runs on biodiesel. The couple owns real estate in Beverly Hills, California, where the actor lives during the filming. And it happens quite often because Harrelson hasn't exhausted his creative resources yet. The actor has a lot of outstanding works in his filmography. He was nominated for an Oscar three times, but never won. Do you think Woody Harrelson will be able to get the major award in the film industry? If you like the video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything interesting.